Hi, I'm Jim Carroll. I'm a futurist trends and innovation expert. I'm based in Mississauga, Ontario, but I've actually got a client list that includes the Walt Disney Organization, Professional Golfers Association of America, even NASA. Regardless of whom I'm dealing with, all of my clients are focused on one issue, and that is the reality that the future belongs to those who are fast. I'm dealing with organizations that are trying to figure out how do we deal with a world in which change is happening so quickly, whether it's technological change, whether it's the emergence of new business models, whether it's science-driven change that is resulting in new opportunities. Now, I'm going to be the opening keynote speaker at the Property Loss Restoration Expo in Toronto on October 1st. I'm hoping to see you there. Look, there's a lot going on and a lot that you need to think about. We're in a situation in which we're seeing the more rapid emergence of more extreme natural disasters. Uh, that leads to a situation in which you have to learn how to scale faster, pull in resources faster, deal with scope challenges that you might never have had to think about before. That can be a challenge when you've got workforce issues. And look, this younger generation has a different concept when it comes to careers and jobs. More than 50% believe that self-employment is more secure than a full-time job. They think two to five years is a long-term career. How do you bring in the necessary skills to deal with a world in which we've got such different attitudes towards jobs and careers? Then there's the emergence of new design, building, and construction methodologies. You have to deal with a constant flood of new knowledge. You're in a situation in which increasingly you have to learn the skill of just-in-time knowledge, getting the right knowledge at the right time for the right purpose to deal with the right opportunity. These are the types of issues that I'll be dealing with with the Property Loss Restoration Expo on October 1st in Toronto. I hope to see you there.